Okay, it's the last Thursday of the month, so time for another Shroud of the Avatar release. Uh, this release has been a full character wipe, so we're all starting from scratch again. So let's create a character. Right. Hair. Now I did just try this a minute ago, and the defect where if you mess around with the character portrait, the cursor disappears. That defect is still in the game. Now they have updated to a uh, Unity Unity 5.2. Which should have should have reduced uh, the number of uh, interface defects. Apparently, hasn't reduced that one. All right then. Nose tip position. What does that do? Okay. Nostril interior width. So. Since I can't really look at the character I'm creating, I'm not going to mess around too much with them. Um, mess around too much with the options. And we'll keep that there. And nose length. Just looks kind of weird, doesn't it? Yep, enough of the nose. Cheek fullness. Okay. It's going for a bit high. That do. Okay. Mouth position. Ooh, different thickness, different. Interesting. We'll go for a bit thinner. I'm not going to mess with the filtrum. Underbite, overbite, not worried about it. What does this do? Dual plane roundness. Okay, gives you a pointy chin, is what it does. There we go. That's all do for now. Right, let's create a character. So, like I said, there's been a full character wipe. There has been a lot of work in the last uh, few releases on the new character experience. Um, I've not done any videos of those because I've actually been on holiday at the time when both the last two releases were made. Uh, not really in a position to record any videos on my slightly crappy laptop. But here we are. Greetings. Uh, so, mysterious woman is telling me her name is Arabella. So let's go and talk to her. Talking with Arabella. You talk with her just by typing. Greetings, Avatar. Ah, oh, the immortal Lord British. Excellent. That's destiny. We will choose the strands. So, this this bit is yeah right okay destiny. Ready to begin. So this bit is like in one of the earlier Ultima games, not one I've played, where instead of choosing your character stats and all that sort of thing you would you would get asked a number of questions and your answers to the questions would determine what your stats are uh, you know your initial stats so uh, let's just hide the talking to Arabella one so this is all explained here so there's uh, what are the th there's three of them 
courage, truth, and harmony, I think, is the, or perhaps love, is that the. And so, from what I understand, there are three starting out, three initial combat areas. So, Solis, Solis Bridge was the one we've all been in up until now, but now there are three areas, and depending on how you answer the questions, you end up in a different. A different uh, starting area. Give the beggar a coin. Okay, if in a hard fought battle thou managed to disarm a mortal enemy who is a cruel murderer in mean, a duel to the death, and now he's at thy mercy, what would you do? Would you show love by permitting him to yield? Or courageously fight to the end? Uh, let's let's go for love, shall we? Now I suspect I could just type yield, or there'll be a there'll be a keyword. All right, aid comrades. I'm not much for uh, taking orders at the best of times. Okay then. So that that should set my uh, set my character. Let's just read what she said. You have selected the path of love. Oh, and so I'm going to open Solis Bridge. Well, that's a bit boring. If I'd have known that, I would have so chosen some different answers. So Solis Bridge is love. So let's go and find the Lunar Rift. Let's close the thing. Oh, hang on. Let's close that so we can see what's going on. Right. So I've not actually been in this area before. I am sort of tempted to just redo the whole thing. Look at that. Read the whole thing and, and try the other starting areas. But on the other hand, uh, I also want to get a house. And it's quite likely that all the houses will be gone if I recreate my character and do it all again. So, anyway, where's this Lunar Rift at? Did she say where the Lunar Rift was at? I should have clicked on it. Let's go back and talk to her. Maybe the lunar rift was behind me. I didn't see. Anyway, this so this Isle of Isle of Storms is actually floating uh, above Novia. All right, thanks. Where is it then? All right, there's an over here. Found you. Still not found the Lunar Rift, though. Let's see if she knows. Lunar Rift. I want to talk to you about the Lunar Rift. Why make it a clickable thing if I can't actually... What use is having it as a clickable thing? Farewell, Lunar Rift. All right, so no idea why that that thing, that text is clickable. It seems fairly pointless if she's not going to actually respond to the phrase. But anyway, let's find a Lunar Rift. Or perhaps oh, someone died. I suspect someone jumped off there, or something like that. Perhaps they just quit. So we're not really being up. Let's get up. Yeah. It's Arabella of the no help. Can't see the lunar rift. Just 
Still can't see the Lone Rift. A little bear, maybe. Let's go up. Up, I say. Aha! Into Rift. Right. This is the Lunar Rift Arabella mentioned. Double click the vortex. So, your destiny awaits. Right, oh. So, rather boringly, I'll be at Solis Bridge again. I have to remember next character wipe to go for courage or truth, perhaps, and see one of the new areas. Uh, so, I'm sorry to disappoint you with something you've probably all seen before. Now you know not to answer that way if you want to see the new things. Hey look, it's a wandering bard. Fancy meeting him here. Yeah, yeah, okay. Alright, an army of undead. You need a bow. No, I want a sword. Alright, so, I have to get the bow. No, type goodbye. Oh, there's the pointer. Goodbye. Where's the weapons rack at? Alright, there's the boat. Do I need some arrows and stuff? Oh, I've got some arrows, right. Equipment. Ah, oh, bridge defender's bow, right. I'll equip the bow, fine. Let's talk to Edvard again. Give it a shot. Okay. Draw your sword. You should check that you've equipped your bow. Yeah, yeah, right, so. Let's go and uh, attack the uh, practice dummy with a bow. Z. Auto attack. I'm dealing damage. Alright then. Let's stop auto attacking. So I've got a bunch of bow skills. What's this one? Airs Embrace. We'll look at the skills in a bit because there is some, uh, is some new stuff. I did do. So I've attacked the practice dummy. Do I need to attack a different practice dummy? What what do I need to do? Alright, I need to stand right next to him, even though then I need to attack him. And then I can't hit him because I'm standing too close. Aim shot. Alright. I've levelled up in aim shot. What's that one? Right, so I'm running out of bows really rapidly. Let's see if he'll tell me something now. Right. Okay, yeah. Oops, I'm not responding to him. Right, goodbye. So before I go, let's see if any of these doors work. Hey, I'm on fire. Yeah, 
the tail. Go. Alright, I'll write the list in haste. In our lady's name, right -o. Dead body. Got some banana bread. I'm all about looting dead bodies. Nothing there of interest at this time. Right, Oop, let's try and walk through the door, shall we? Let's not set ourselves on fire this time. Yep, yeah, so open the gate. Ooh, more dead bodies. Let's see what gear you've got. Letter from Emily to Quincy. Quincy's broken sword. Actions and consequences. Yes, this is what we're saying. You know, you can have consequences from uh, looting dead bodies. I don't know if they've actually implemented any of these consequences yet. But there you go, right. Let's get in range of the skeleton. Him. My ammo supply is low. Victory! Oh, I've got a sword at least. That'll be handy. Let's loot this dead body. I'm looting all the dead bodies. I'm not setting myself on fire. I killed another skeleton. Right. Let's take his rusty sword as well. I never used this bow and arrow stuff before. I'm not sure that I like it. Good out. Location of exit to Soul Town recorded. Ooh, you. I've leveled up in something. Rage combat has increased to level right. So, got another skeleton to attack? No. Take his gold. Let's take his gold. How much gold have I got? 107. I might be able to afford to buy some more arrows. Fellow, right, so so you can learn what he wants to do by typing, clicking the words a favor to ask if you're right. Let's just say favor American spelling. I can notice this in my journal, which I can view using the J key. You receive zero items from one. Okay then. I don't know what zero items from one was. Uh, repair kits. Edvar's notes on Solis Bridge. Now you can actually read the notes. Uh, I'm not going to go. Let's 
So I'll talk with Edward. Let's ask him about Soul Town. Possibly a mystery. Definitely an ale. Let's talk about Arteris. The city of love in the most literal sense. Okay. I believe I can get more stuff out of him. Oh, there we go. There's a favour to ask of you. But I already did that bit. Right on. Undead. Any switch gap? Poem. Six hours. Okay. I've not got the patience. I'm going to run down and get in the boat. Get to Soul Town. And start talking about all the other new things. Okay, so I crashed going into Soul Town just now. So uh, that will uh, possibly be a bit of a weird cut in the video. Uh, obviously remind us all this is still pre-alpha uh, expect bugs expect problems this stuff will happen right so what I was going to say was Soul Town obviously Solid Bridge rather is the old starting area or the original the other two ones are High River High Vell and Blood River which I assume are associated with truth and courage uh, I think High Valley is the truth one and Blood River is the courage one, I'm not sure. Um, I've discussed that uh, we've had the full wipe. Soul Town Guard. I'm assuming you're Stanley. So we'll complete this uh, complete this quest. Alright, I received Edward's notes. Okay. Alright, yet camp help. Alright, so there are all the starting quests. Carry up. Okay, we received a letter from Stanley. From Stanley the Guard. From Stanley, from Stanley the Guard. Okay then. Right. Anyway. Enough of that. Let's head into town. So I'm a fairly weak character. So there has been a complete wipe. But... Uh, experience is quadrupled although it has to be said now that we have this uh, use based skill system uh, you don't really know what the experience is anyway uh, I'm not really a fan so far of this use based stuff I much prefer the old level it's much the old way is much simpler to uh, be concerned about but anyway Let's talk to the Soul Town Cryer and get some mail off him.
Arduous, okay. Good plan. Right, so there is the tour guide, which I'm not going to do today. And here is the banker, who will have all my starting gear. Which will load up eventually. So, oh right. So one of the new things in this release is uh, necklaces. Oh, I don't know if I can do anything with it there. Let's move back over here. All right. So if you drag it and put it in, now it's in Soul Town. But I think I can. There we go. I don't know what the Anchor Virtue Necklace does, but I'm wearing it now. So, inventory. Uh, crafting. So, I want my artisan harvesting axe. I want my fishing rod. I don't need the cleaver or any of that stuff. Or the loom shuttle. On the pickaxe, the sickle, and the skinning knife. Good. I won't get the. Uh, I won't get the uh, house out at the moment. We'll get a nice cloak though. Ooh. All right. So this is my. Uh, We'll get that out just in case we're gonna have a chance to play with it. And let's me let's me summon a uh, chest mimic. Let's go with some armor. So in this release, oh, someone's playing some music. We'll get to that in a bit. Very nice. In this release, the uh, armor, which previously only really took into account the chest, the chest plate. Oh, I like my puzzle pattern plate. I have that. Uh, and this, all of the, all of the uh, armor counts now towards something or other. So uh, it's it's basically a lot more. Um, let's have a top hat. I would like that. Uh, do I get a weapon in here? No, leather, fans cutlass. That's what I was after. I'm not really into a crystal crystal sword, right? So let's get equipped. Now there is an instrument, so I'm not going to bother with the instrument now. Going for the cloak. Going for the shield. Boots. Chest armor. Gloves. Uh, epic leather. Some trousers. Do I need anything else? Oh, where's my hat? Yes, someone's playing the final countdown. Let's see who's playing music. Oh, there they are. Look, they're playing on the piano. So, music was added uh, in the last release. Oh, that bug's still there as well. Last thing you mouse over. Uh, keeps the keeps the uh, tooltip up, right? Yeah, music has the last release. You can add. You can add. Uh, I'm looking for the blacksmith. There we go. You can add music files. You can add music files into your game directory and then 
if you've equipped an instrument, you can play. You can play those tunes at any time. Um, I think the uh, oh, merchant Let's sell crap to him as well then. Uh, one, two, three music format or something like that. I uh, can't sell Quince's Broken Sword. Can I sell any of that? No. Can I sell my non artisan malarkey? Let's see if Annika the Ratsmith will buy my other crap off me. Sell from inventory. No, she won't. So enough of that. Let's go and talk about skills. So, skills are now use-based. Let's get rid of that for now. And what that means is, if we look here, that that's my skill in bladed combat. And as I attack people with blades, that will improve. So, what I want to use... So, in order for these skills to improve, I need to buy them. Now, obviously, I've got very little gold at the moment, so I have to be a bit careful. Oh, right, we'll talk about that one in a minute. Be a bit careful about what I level up because I can only afford one. So, what will be the most useful thing at the moment? I can't get any of that because I need it to be 10. Uh, so, while I'm here, let's just talk about so subterfuge is a new skill tree which uh, which is uh, added for roguelike roguelike uh, stuff so that's, that's basically what it's for uh, for you sneaking around so some of the skills what have we got here camouflage trip that's actually an odd one engage opponent which sounds to me actually quite handy uh, for any combat but there you go poison weapon Silent movement, weak points, sap, sneak attack, pick locks, which presumably isn't implemented yet. So that's the new skill tree under strategy in this release. The other new thing, and I don't think you actually can see it here, but the other interesting new thing is that you now have these things called attunements. So, if you uh, level up in fire, then you become weaker to water, and presumably uh, life and death will, will work like that as well. Uh, so, this is other interesting facts: if you have a high life affinity, then when other people use healing spells on you, they, those spells will be more effective. So this, you know, this is all quite interesting. I am going to buy blade speed at this point, so I can start leveling that up. And I think that uses up all my money. Yes. So let's get rid of that for now. And so, what I'm going to do at this point is. Uh, head to Arderis and buy a house. Well, when I say buy, I'm going to head to Arderis I'm going to get my stuff out of the bank. And uh, I'm then going to uh, claim a lot, hopefully. So, yes. The affinities, that seems quite interesting to me. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, because I quite often... Uh, go for both uh, death and life 
I've never really done any water stuff. I quite like a fiery death, uh, whole fiery death thing. Nice, nice stuff going on. Okay, so it crashed again as I was entering Novia. So, we're we in 40 minutes of playing to crash the desktop. Not particularly brilliant. So, yeah, I was talking about uh, Fari Death and uh, this whole concept of basically skill trees in the magic sort of offsetting each other. Um, which is, you know, I find that kind of interesting. It's, you know, it's, it's going to stop you doing just whatever you want. There's going to be things that previously were viable and aren't really viable anymore because they, they sort of conflict with each other. So you do have to choose how you're going to do it. And, uh, you know, I guess that's that's alright. Uh, I do have, when it actually all goes live, I'll have multiple character slots. So I can just... Uh, set it all up to uh, uh, you know I can cover all combinations across across my characters I think um, I was talking earlier about the armor let me just read the bit from the update so they've normalized the damage resistance of the armor types to be much closer and lower so the plate and chain mail have similar damage resistance but the heavier armor types now have increased damage avoidance uh, and damage avoidance is what what gets you glancing blows when you're in you're in combat. Um, so we'll see how that works out. There have been quite a few combat related changes in this release, so so I guess I'll see if that's better. After I've dealt with buying a house, I will. Uh, I will uh, go out and see if I can find something to fight. So let's run into Ardris. Oh, there's people around. There's a boatman. There's a load of guards. I know no longer know their names. I think I had been to every guard in Ardris and asked them what the name was. Uh, by the end of by the end of R22. So instead of saying Ardris City Guard, it all said things like Adam the Guard. So I picked up some mail in Soul Town. So where's the town crier? There he is. Ardorous town crier. Let's give him the mail. Yay! So I should have 75 gold. Yes, I've got lots of gold again. Let's get some more mail. Desolus. Alright, the lots has failed to load, which possibly indicates that right now everybody is at it trying to buy a house. Or possibly it just means, you know, it's all gone horribly wrong. So I'll head to the bank and pick up all my uh, house bits and pieces. Ardorus looks much the same as it did before. They have done a lot of performance work in R22, which should make should make Ardorus uh, a lot more playable if you had a lower end system. I have been able to play it on my laptop, which has a sort of embedded uh, Radeon R3 graphics. And you know, it's not. It's not like it's. Um, it's not like it's totally useless. It is a bit. It is a bit of a pain, though. Right. What do I want? I want to get my house. I want to get a property deed. Let's just see what's going on. 
Uh, yeah, so damage resistance 2. So in the previous release, plate was 10. Well, now they're all fairly close. Anyway, right. I want to get my property deed. Where's my property deed? There we go. Roll a lot of deed. Um, right, I have got a basement. Basement is no good to me at the minute because you need to buy an entrance and attach the basement to an entrance. So we'll leave that now for now. I'll get a Siamese cat out. And I'll get my teletype out. Oh, I'm sure I got that out already, didn't I? Housing. So I've got my house and I've got my lot deed. I've got my cat. And I've got my teletype. Alright, let's get the um let's get the musical instrument out. I don't really want the greyhound. I don't think I need anything else at this moment. Yeah, so the basements, you need to buy a hatch and then attach attach the uh, basement to the hatch. So I've not got I've not got enough money to buy a hatch right now. So we'll do that later. So what I'm going to do is run to where I had my house in the previous release and see if anyone's stagged that location yet. I hope not. Because I've sort of learnt the way. So yes, the performance the performance is better. There's some weird pop in now. And you'd be running along, looking at the sea, and then all of a sudden houses will appear. But it is a bit smoother just getting around. Okay. So this was the house I had before. Yay! Claim current lot. Yes. Okay. Let's How do I get the house up again? I can't remember how you get the actual house to them. Um... Right. I think you should click on this. There we go. Select house. There we go. Accept. So... Oh yep, it's changed already. There's my house. Excellent. So it's all a bit bare at the minute because I've no lights and I've not bought any of that stuff yet. And that doesn't matter because I do have a cat. There we go. Can I name the cat? I'm not sure. Ah, command pet follow, teleport pet. I'm not sure. Doesn't look like I can name my cat, but I have a cat. So, I should point out that house pets, or as they were previously referred to, non-combat pets, are new in this release. Um, in this release, they'll only do anything, they'll only be active while the house owner is in the house. And, you know, it's a cat, how active do you expect it to be? Although it has just stood and stared at the wall so far. Uh, in future releases, the pets will be active whenever anybody's in the house. But for now, 
that's that's what we're getting so let me just uh, get the other thing out of my inventory which is a teletype so really I want to place this somewhere where we can see what's going on since it's now dark I'm not sure. Is which around? Oh, there we go. There's the keyboard. So let's spin it around. Spinning it and spinning it. There. Yeah. I have one of 350 internal objects placed. Good to know. Right. So this teletype is an add-on. I uh, I have bought. And it allows you to play D and D one. Oh, so we is it crashed? There we go. Enhanced graphics. Did that work? Oh we go, you click on it. You need instructions. Yes. All right. I suspect we need it to be in a bigger screen resolution for this to really work properly. So this is the original uh, original um, game by Richard Galliott made in 1977. It has been... Uh, converted to unity by this guy Richard Fleming and so now when you buy this teletype for what is it $24 no, $25 which if you think about it is more expensive than quite a lot of the games on Steam you can play this game from 1977 in the privacy of your own in-game home now you know obviously I'm a mug because I have I've spent $24 on a, uh, what is it, 23, 38-year-old game. Available commands. Right, it's because I can't really see what that side of the text is. I can't expand it. Can I expand it? No. So probably, not worth actually playing like this, but it is funny to look at. And you can see, you know, I mean, $24, $25. Well, I spent $24 because I had dollar store credit. And I also will get store credit because there is there is the uh, Thanksgiving sale on for the next next few days where you get store credit at the rate that you spend money in the store at. So I will have some... Uh, I, will, I will get some credit for that. position it a bit close to the wall there right so there's my house there's my cat those are those are those are two of the new things um, one of the other add-on items which I may buy is a phonograph with uh, wax cylinders which lets you uh, lets you play music uh, it's very it's, it's it's a steampunky type of thing so, while I'm here at home, let's head upstairs and uh, quickly do a bit of fishing just to, uh, oh no, actually, because I need to buy worms to do fishing, don't I? Yes, I do. Let's not do any fishing now then, because that would have been embarrassing. Let's head out and buy some consumables like worms to go fishing. Where's the way out? There it is. So, I'm quite pleased I got the same house back, even if it wasn't, it's not an ideal location probably. It's sort of a bit offline from the centre, uh, but it's about equally close to the docks to Kingsport and the market and since I've basically worked out where it is now, I can find my way there most of the time. It's probably the best place to have for me. Uh, Ardor City Guard. 
Now I have got another 100 gold now, so I could probably pick another skill to level up. So let's go to the skills trainer. There he is, should be around here somewhere. There will be, oh, let's do a look. Oh, one new thing in this release, so the calendar, as we've talked about previously, this is a persistent calendar we've got now. Uh, weather is new. I think it was in the last release. You actually would have uh, rainfalls and stuff. But now the weather is reported here partly cloudy. Alright, let's uh, talk to the skills trainer. Now what do I want to do? Parry. I want to train strength. So I'm at level 1 at the minute. Let's just, while I'm here, alright, I don't want to be a ranger, Is that, am I a ranger because I, because I chose love? Delete, new deck, right, glyphs, let's sort them by school. There's Embrace, right, so Healing Touch. Oh, someone's doing something nasty. Lots of ranged combat skills. I've not got light armor on. Increases XA, alright, so let's have that. I've not got any better options at the minute. Can't do any of those things. Gust. Right, so I might as well drag a health potion in. I've oh, got only combo at the minute, right, because it gave me ranger skills. Which is quite annoying. So let's just, uh, while I'm here, I don't really want to level. Alright, so I've got all of these things that I don't want. Interesting. So let's turn all them off so I don't level up in them. Now I've got bladed and I've got blade speed, but I've not got any of those skills. I presume I can't sell them back now. Let's just check. I don't think you can sell them back. No, you can't sell them back. So I just have to go out and fight somebody in order to level up. So what we need is some bad guys. Oh traveller. So if I was playing the normal plot line and not, you know, dashing to Ardress to uh, stake my claim to a house. Oh, I think the first area would be Solace Bridge. Although perhaps we should go. What was the uh, what was the guy we needed to find? Yeah, yeah. current tasks, right? Guard Captain Cudgel. Well, I don't know where he is. So let's not run around and try and find him right now. Let's instead try and find somewhere innocuous to uh, practice fighting stuff. Almost certainly I will die a lot at this point. Um, so, 
Now is a good time to discuss some of the other combat changes. So I've been talking about skills. Um, a new thing in this release is a master apprentice system. So when you get to level 100 in any skill, you become a master. Let's see if this crashes. Looks promising. You become a master. Well, now, if you join a party and you're a master in a skill, then everyone else in the party will get a bonus in how quickly they accumulate that skill as they're fighting. Um, so, presumably, if you're a master in some in some in some good skill you will be uh, in demand for joining parties. Well, I should think anyway. So, yeah. Let's, uh, East Perennial Trail, let's just enter. See what it's like. Who knows? Who knows? So perhaps if, I, if I'd gone to the Path of Courage I would have got all the sword fighting skills. Uh, I'm sort of tempted to delete the character and find out, but I have got my house now, so I've got some incentive. So here I am. Somebody's fighting someone somewhere. user group is doing some stuff. What I want to do is find just one thing to fight. Uh, there's somebody running around. Uh, I like the mask. I'll try not to attract the attention of a mob. Uh, mine to mine while we're at 99% chance success okay I wonder if this bike has been killing everything there's the way in that. Somebody died. So, so they're like a bad guys. Who would have thought it? What happened is, I'll come along on like three at once and get killed fairly quickly. Oh, someone's fighting here. Oh, a bear. They're totally taking the bear out, look. Someone didn't take the bear out. There must be something somewhere for me to fight, surely. Let's try again with the running in the... Let's run to wherever this in this 
sort of building over here. Location of large ruin recorded. Someone died there. Some more people died there. Two people there killing the skeleton. Is there any skeletons left for me to kill? Apparently not. There is a lot of grass. Oh, I've got the zombie plague. How did I get the zombie plague? So, that was all a bit of a washout. As far as uh, finding something to fight was concerned, let's move on up the road. So, let's see. I've talked about the uh, Master Apprentice system. And there are some interesting new stuff uh, about spiders. I don't know if there's a good area to go and find them in this lease. Ooh, let's talk about this. So this is a difficulty indicator. Uh, one skull means it's actually fairly easy. Uh, two skulls is harder, three skulls is harder still. So this is in response to people just not really having any idea what they were getting themselves into whenever they went into some random area. So you can see this is a fairly easy area, which is why there's nothing alive, because all of us people have piled onto the server tonight to uh, try it all out for the first time, and uh, are killing everything in easy areas. So that's, uh, yep, that's a good new addition, I think. Um, yeah, the spiders, and so previously the spider webs and the eggs were, were just basically decorative. In this release, if you step on the spider's eggs, then spiders will hatch out of them and attack you. Oh, oh, we might be getting some combat after all. There we go. And the other thing is, if you walk into into cobwebs, you will get trapped in the cobwebs, and then spiders will come along and attack you. So that whole... Oh, no. It's this bloke who I really can't afford to... Uh, Binding off because I have a new player. So that was a waste of time. As these things usually are. Let's go. <coughs> so yeah, spiders are still buggers, but now at least you can avoid stepping on the eggs, I guess. Um, one thing that I spotted from the update notes, we'll, we'll never get to it today because you need, I need to level up in all sorts of things. But the corpse explosion spell, which previously was a complete pain in the pain in the arse to work because you had to stop targeting whoever it is you were fighting, target the corpse, hope no one aggroed you in that time, and pull the target back, and then then ex execute the corpse explosion. So now corpse explosion is an area of effect spell. So basically, if there's a corpse nearby, you cast corpse explosion that corpse will blow up and inflict damage on nearby things. Which is a far more sensible way of implementing it. So I'm looking forward to uh, using that at some point in the near future. Um, we've not really got... got... Uh, well, no, I'm not going to get to discuss some of the things that I've made a note of. Uh, fishing is going to a bit of a oh let's harvest some cotton there we go I should have checked I should have checked what the uh, difficulty was well I'm 99% chance of harvesting cotton oh a woken zombie all right come on get your sword out woman Go on, attack the zombie. 
Oh, why have we not got any skills up? I'm whacking up the bladed combat skills. I'm going to kill this zombie. Now, obviously, I've set up my. Uh, Obviously, I've set up my deck wrong. Let's take all that way. Get back to harvesting that cotton. Take all. And let's look at my... Alright. Equip the deck. There we go. That will be more effective. So, let me just show you this while I'm, while I'm in here. So, the use space skill is basically as you do stuff you will get better at it so if we look at my skills at the minute see I've improved that rapidly my blade speed is nearly at improvement what I need to do is save enough gold to uh, activate some of these other skills uh, strategy tactics strength get in there Armour preservation, not got any of that yet. Heavy lifter, that's the one we'd like to get, so I can more stuff around. Right, so let's do a bit more combat. Let's see how much money have I got? What we want to do is get to 100 gold so I can afford to buy a new skill. So let's get the sword out. Let's attack this zombie. Let's do some life skill. Uh, I suppose I could actually look and see what damage I'm doing. Yes, I'm doing some damage. Look. Oh, I fizzled that one. Defeated another zombie. All gold, all good. So there are quests in here. If I'd have stopped to talk to people at the camp earlier. Ooh, pumpkins. Ah. So pumpkins are new in this release. This is one of the things I thought I'd probably never get to talk about. So new in this release, pumpkin patches and granite nodes. There are also a bunch of uh, recipes, uh, pumpkin pie and stuff like that for crafting that uh, you can use pumpkin as an ingredient in. Now, I've not checked what my crafting skills are, are all about. But, oh, I've not got any fishing. And I need a worm to activate it, so that's why fishing would have been run out of it. Foraging, I'm getting there. Swift gathering. So anyway, yeah, pumpkin recipes. It is possible in this release to make pumpkin pie. Hurrah, zombie. Let's go attack the zombie. Let's uh, level up my healthy skill. Let's do that one again. Everything is levelling up really fast because I've got four times experience gain. Look at all that stuff. So my rated combat skill is just uh, zooming up. Where is he? There he is. Five gold. All that for five gold. Alright, let's recover for a bit. How much gold have we got now? 81. Have we got stuff to sell? 
Not really. I'll mind you, the uh, corpse wax and ectoplasmic ectoplasmic residue is usually quite valuable. So I'll kill one more zombie and then uh, and be wrapping things up. Let's see where that is. Let's keep at it with the life. Oh, increase the dexterity. Blade speed skill has increased level 3. Oh no, not dead yet. Attack. Now yeah, blow him away. That would be handy if I was equipped with a bow and arrow, wouldn't it? Plus 6 dexterity for 40 seconds. Actually quite handy. Uh, is he dead this time? Yes, he is. Take his gold. Oh, no, I forgot that's enough. So... We've been through a few things. Um, there are some other stuff that's uh, quite interesting for this release, but I'm going to have to level up before we do it. I don't think I'll be doing the hat, hat video for this release. If you want to see the uh, Grand Tour Guide, and Vico Gaming has already uploaded a video of the whole thing. It's very really good. Um, check that one out. It seems a fairly straightforward quest this time. You know, as long as you don't mind dying a few times. Um, so, yes, yeah, so I talked about pumpkin patches. We've not got to do fishing because I've not activated the skill, which is a bit of a shame, but there you go. Um, so, in this release, the shard fall areas, which are the PvP areas, and the uh, control points, which have mobs of bad guys have much improved uh, resources so if you want to do a lot of resource gathering gang up get a party together and go and take out one of these uh, one of these areas uh, uh, control point or a shard fall um, also in this release taming has had uh, a whole overhaul so it's now possible for you to tame multiple pets and then sell those tamed pets so there'll be an economy around taming am animals and, uh, and using them in combat and stuff like that which could be quite interesting I've still not got around to uh, even attempting taming myself I just haven't, haven't managed to level up or acquire enough gold to uh, collect taming collars I did have three taming collars before the white but I've never, attempt never actually managed to use any of them so that should be quite interesting you should be able to get pets just by uh, having gold um, yeah, and that's, that's about all I'm going to talk about right now for R23. Uh, it's, you know, they've done a lot of work on combat. It does seem a bit more fluid in the combat area in that you don't have to precisely position yourself to face things to uh, defeat stuff. So hopefully it will, it will make it all better this use based skill thing I'm not really sure because everyone kept saying oh so you'll see what it's like when we have a full wipe and everyone's at 11 player field and we don't have a pool of experience but then they've given us 400% experience for this release so I don't quite understand how are we going to test how are we going to test uh, the, how the skills work if we never actually end up in a starting state. I think when we actually do end up in a starting state, that the use space things will be a complete pain in the backside. But there we go. So anyway, I'm going to uh, wrap it all up for now here in Solis Bridge. This is Shroud Avatar R23 first look. Um, check it out, and uh, I'll maybe see you in game. <laughs>